It's a lot quieter, as you can tell. Uh, joining me now, Lafayette's next Mayor President, Josh Guillory. Have you had a chance to kind of soak everything in? Yes, <laughs> yes, and, and I am so thankful. I mean, I really am. I am so thankful. I'm so humbled and honored to lead our parish into the future, and I'm ready. And I'm thankful to everybody listening, everybody not listening or watching, you know, from, from our unincorporated areas to our municipalities to our city. Our future is bright. Our future is bright. We can do this together. And I'm so honored to, that, the, that the people of our parish, my neighbors, our neighbors, have, has chosen, have chosen me to lead us into that future. What is your biggest priority going into office? What do you want to like really focus on first? Yeah. Same thing we were saying in the, in the campaign. We got to fix drainage. No, but we, can't look, we cannot neglect our roads. We got to re-engineer our traffic to, to let traffic flow more efficiently. But we got to keep our community safe, and that's not just law enforcement, that's fire protection. And we do have a parish out there, outside the city limits. Our unincorporated area is important to me. Our municipalities are important to me. This partnership as we go into fire protection is, is very dear to my heart, and it's dear to our citizens as well. And the way we pay for it is we bring jobs back. We don't increase taxes. So, again, I'm ready to hit the ground running, but tonight is about giving thanks. Tonight's about reflection, and I'm so thankful to Almighty God. And I'm very thankful to our voters out there in this parish. And I'm ready. Now, have you had a chance to speak with uh, Carly yet? I have not had to speak to, a chance to speak to Carly, but I wish her well. You know, I, th I, I wish her supporters well. You know, we're, we need to go forward. We need to come together. And let's all, together, as a community, I mean, think about it. Lafayette, joie de vie. You know, let's, let's have fun. Let's have excitement. But let's get our priorities in order. Let's get good government to our people, to all of our people. So I ask for God's blessing on all of us. Thank you so much. Thank All right, you. you just heard from the uh, next mayor president of Lafayette, Josh Guillory. Uh, very exciting moment for uh, Lafayette. All right, back to you guys in the studio. All right, Jamie Angel there with Lafayette Mayor President-elect Josh Guillory leading, uh, winning this race, I should say, 56% to Carly Amlabar's 44%. And let's head out live. Katie Easter joining us with Carly Amlabar. Katie. Hey guys, so I'm here with Carly right now. Of course, the results were kind of disappointing tonight. And I know earlier in your speech you said you weren't sure what's next, but I mean, what are your thoughts? Uh, well, first, I'm just grateful to all the voters. I want to congratulate Mr. Guillory on his win. Um, and really, my thoughts are, you know, I've spent 20 years serving this community. So, you know, I'll obviously take a nice little vacation, couple days, and then consider, you know, what my options might be moving forward. Right. And so your crowd was actually chanting Carly 2023. What are your thoughts on that? I am not thinking about that at all. You know, as someone who never thought I'd run for office, I, this for me was kind of a one time moment where I felt like the, the needs in our community were matching up with my particular talents at this time. But I don't have political ambition. My ambition is service. And so I, you know, I don't know that, that I'll run for office again. I don't know that I won't, but it's just not where my mind would focus. Of course. Well, you did have quite the supporters here tonight, and you were thanking all of them. Yeah. I mean, what else do you want to say to the voters at home? Oh, just thank everyone for participating. Great voter turnout. I think we were at 58% in Lafayette Parish. Thanks to all the people who volunteered on my campaign, all the folks who took time to listen and, and make an educated vote. Just really that kind of civic participation. Obviously, one day we'll get above 50%, but it's great. We want that to happen, so it's a great night. All right. Well, thank you, Carly, for joining in with Thank us. You. So live in Lafayette, Katie Easter, KTC, TV3. And Dr. Pearson Cross joining us at the desk again. Um, so Josh Guillory, the winner in this race, uh, some big issues in Lafayette Parish that will need to be addressed by the, the next administration. Absolutely. Drainage is number mm -hmm. one. And, and we know <laughs> and we know that they moved some money over from the library and they're but they're going to need to really get aggressive on drainage and we don't know when the next disaster is going to happen there's also some issues with law enforcement about mm -hmm. providing he mentioned safety issues there's a pay thing going on we're having some problems with L the lcg finances paying. in general at lcg yeah the parish is going broke wow. everybody knows that so there's some issues there as well so it's uh there are a lot of things to work on. I will say, however, that the kind of campaign we've just had oftentimes energizes people to get involved in politics. And I think uh, Josh is saying, let's get involved. Carly's saying, I want my people to get involved. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll see kind of an upwelling of uh, civic pride and, and we'll all work together.